I know it looks horrendous. I said it looks about right. But Power described it. He called it a, a bean, meat, and cheesy slop. <laughs> and that's what this yeah, is. No, that's perfect. That's We are home from school, homework time, cleanup time, snack time. I didn't even get anything to eat. Have a banana. A no! banana. I hate bananas. Okay, we'll throw them in the trash can then. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll eat more. <laughs> Uriah finally finished two pages of homework. It's hey. been like an hour. No, and finally got him to. One minute. Now he needs to clean up his mess. Okay. Hello guys, it is getting close to dinner time and I'm trying to get dinner started. I bought a bunch of groceries over the weekends, mainly chicken and like ingredients for chicken dishes. So today we're going to have um, chicken rice. So I have the chicken thighs, this is not chicken thighs, this is chicken leg meat. Uh, salted and prepared, I'm just cutting up the ginger. And I have the scallions. Can you believe this whole bunch of scallions? It was only 33 cents. Yeah, because it was three bunches for 99 cents at Aldi. That's like super cheap, especially right now. Because at like normal grocery stores, I think it could be as... I think I've seen... 129 or like a dollar somewhere around a dollar for just like one bunch that's like smaller than this So I thought this was a good find What I also try to do is I try to regrow <laughs> From the stems at least like one additional round, you know Eventually I just throw out the stems because they get kind of soggy and gross But um, yeah, I added some more to it Nice to get some uh, more bang for your buck, you know what I'm saying? I think it's a very like frugal thing to do, I guess, but I don't know. I like to do it. And it it keeps this area, you know, full of some greenery, so that's kind of nice. All right, everything is in. I just try not to overlap the chicken too much. I'm losing my mind. Where did I put the Instant Pot lid? Where, where in the heck did I put it? <laughs> I don't see it. Um, mommy, it's right here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm losing my mind. All right. Thank you, Uriah. You're so good at helping me find stuff. I, well, it's just like an array right there. Oh. Like, right at the table from over Uriah's doing sweaty kids. Good job. Keep it up. It actually came to pressure. I did not get a burn notice this time. Usually I get the burn notice, but I just kind of ignore it. Um, but I didn't get it this time. I did oil the bottom. I don't know if that actually helps or not. I I think I do it all the time, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Anyways, I just let it sit now for about... Well, since it came to pressure, maybe I'll just wait like 20 minutes before I serve the food. Um, but that's plenty enough. Uh, time for me to get the sauce ready So I peeled the ginger. I'm gonna do a lot of sauce so I can just store it in the fridge Is it the chicken rice? Yeah Of course the boys are playing some basketball out there I rarely see him miss Too much pressure because he saw me with the vlogger. Ooh, those green onions are strong. Getting to my eyes. I actually ended up having to chop the ginger manually. It was just way too difficult to start to like keep grating. My hand got tired and 
Mm-hmm, that happened. I'm okay, it's just a little bit of skin. The two sauces really complete this dish. It looks really good. Chicken is super tender, moist. Here, Uriah, your dinner. Uh-oh, why are all these crayons out? Dinner time and now. Steven Thor. How's the chicken rice, Uriah? I haven't tried it. Oh, you haven't even tried a bite yet. Too much jibber jabber. Mm -hmm. Hot? That's why I didn't take a bite yet. It is hot. Uriah's eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart run. What is going on with the wheel right here? Did you pick a bad cart again? I'm gonna make it a quick trip. I am very tired, but there are a few things that we need to get. All the Valentine Day stuff out. It's on a Monday, and there's no there's no school for you guys on that day. I bet they you, celebrated you, the Friday before. Yeah, but you think they'll, we can still pass out at, like Valentine's? Maybe pass out for Christmas and Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know, but that was before the surge and all that. Okay, has these blue tapes always been this expensive? This is like so expensive. Five dollars for a roll? Five dollars for a roll of blue tape is that? That's expensive, right? I was at the Dollar Tree. I didn't see blue tape. I saw masking tape. That's so weird. Why is this so freaking expensive? Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Forget it. I moved the aisles. Now I'm a little disoriented. <laughs> I can't. I don't know where my stuff is. Why do you do that? I'm trying to get the wheel It seems Why like you have a tip. No, just don't worry about it. I don't know why the shelves are so bare for eggs. They just have like the two pack. So I guess we'll just stock up on eggs. <laughs> why little dog goes down? You can read it all by yourself, right? I've been reading it. I've, I've done all these things. Oh, good job, Bubba. Myself. No thanks to me, but I did make him some flashcards actually. Didn't get practice with him. Not yet. I just did page 17. Good job. You're a good reader. Next time we should go to the library and get you some books. Yeah, we should get you some books, buddy. I'm gonna get one tomorrow. Okay. Okay, what does that one say? They read that page. La, uh -huh. the cold medicine is kind of out. There's allergy medicine though. We are home. Bedtime for the boys. Love you guys. Good night. Thanks for watching guys. If you like, hey, don't put the knife. Give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Comment below. Comment Subscribe below. if you haven't yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. So Annie, what's the project tonight? Howard wants me to make him some burrito filling. It's called how to make your own ghetto frozen burrito filling. Yeah. I've never had those frozen burritos before. It's so. like the 25 cent burritos. Power had to show me a video and it's literally there's literally a video called ghetto burrito like making your own ghetto burrito. Ghetto. I like I ate quite a few of those when I was in college. So I have a special place in my heart for them. And I told Power like well we have a can of refried beans. We bought these I don't know. We bought a long time ago. It was on clearance. I just bought some ground beef, and I think it's just beans, beef, and cheese, and just some seasoning. Mm. I know there was some green peppers in the other one, but it's okay. I didn't buy you no know, vegetables. That's fine. Unless you want onion. Nah. <laughs> we got some strong uh, smells going <laughs> on over here. It smells like bio. <laughs> I use like chili powder, cumin, that kind of stuff. I'm trying to put together taco seasoning because yeah. I don't have any. 
Annie thinks the beans don't look appetizing. Ooh. It looks kind of like spammy to me. <laughs> in the video, the guy's beans, did you see it? It was in like a tube. <laughs> At first he squeezed it out. I was like, what is that? <laughs> it was beans. That's why the guy had a tube. It's kind of hard to get out of the can. I know it looks horrendous. I said it looks about right. But Power described it. He called it a a bean, meat, and cheesy slop. <laughs> and that's what this yeah, is. No, that's perfect. That's like what it's supposed to look like. Well, maybe you should give it a taste and let me know. <laughs> what does it need? Does it kind of taste like what your burritos taste like? It tastes higher quality than what the burritos Well, that's what I was trying it, it to... Tastes, it tastes meatier, actually. Uh, well, that's what I was trying to accomplish. Like, you don't know what goes into those 25 cent burritos. At least, if you're cooking it yourself, you know what is in it. Just beef. I mean, I don't know. I didn't make the beans. Target made the beans. And then the cheese. 